Looks like G-Man's putting a whole spa in his mouth here, getting all the sensations going. And uh, speaking of spa, I think we should get that sensation going for our bodies. Obviously, it's been a very, very long year, right? We've all been going through the most. So why not take this last few moments of the season before we go into that uh, well-needed downtime to actually prepare ourselves for proper downtime, right? So with the hustle and bustle of everyday life, your home should be the one place where you can relax. And there's no better place to create a relaxation station than in your bathroom yeah you've been sleeping on it <laughs> now it's time to give you the top tips and tricks to make a diy spa day in your bathroom with uh, splash hair nail and beauty and we've had the manager and beauty therapist emerald twig in the building good morning emerald how are you doing i'm good thank you thank you for having me oh, it's an absolute pleasure i think the timing is absolutely perfect for this we've all been going through the most there's a lot of stress at this time of the year so why not make the most of it and you've got some great tips for us, right? I How do, do we indeed. do this? How, what are some of these tips in terms of like DIYing ourselves into this uh, sort of spa day that we can create in our bathroom? How do we go about doing this? So I would start off by decluttering the space. We yeah. know that everything is clear. You feel much better mentally. Everything is just serene. So I would start off with uh, something like bathrobes or bath sheets, adding your slippers into your bathroom and packing out all of the products that you need. So things like cleansers, masks, moisturizers, ah. all of your hair products, you start off with those. And I think that your hair, your skin and your body needs all of that care in order to have a full DIY at home. That makes sense because uh, not my bathroom, but when I go to some of my guests, uh, my friends' guest bathrooms, you'll see like obviously the chaos, there's lots of clothing and that yes. kind of visually represents what's kind of going on in your yes, mind, right? So that, that makes correct. a lot of sense. Decluttering. And then I'd imagine also, let's say like things like the senses need to be stimulated. So yes. it's not just visually, but we're talking also the ambiance, the lighting. I'm sure that has a part to play in it as well. Very important. Yeah. Uh, with lighting, if you have dimmable lights, very good. I would start off with something very low. Uh, something like yellow lights is also very good. If yellow you lights, have, specifically. Yes. Okay, well, what's the reason for that? So yellow has a very calming effect on the system. Ah. Yes, okay. very interesting. Um, something that's too bright, you know, it, it livens, it awakens. So you want to start off with something yellow. And then also your uh, battery-operated fairy lights is very good. You can have your LED lights or better yet your candles. Old school candles. Yes. There's no better ambiance <laughs> than that. I love it. Now, it doesn't stop obviously at the lighting because also there's this thing of the senses being stimulated. And I almost feel like in an environment like this, you want to create that, that sort of spa feel for every single sense, right? So we've got the visual, yes. we've got the sort of light ambiance. What about smell and scent? I know aromatherapy is a big thing when it comes to getting that tranquil feeling. What do you got for us in that department? So aromatherapy is probably one of my most favorite parts of the industry. Yeah. And if you're looking to a relaxing sort of um, setting, you want to focus on lavender. Eucalyptus, uh, you can do vetiver as well. This can be incorporated inside your bath. It can also be incorporated inside your shower. If you want to hang a little, like wet cotton balls, you can of hang course, on the shower yeah, and that yeah, will yeah. give a steaming effect for your oh, aromatherapy. Oh, that's pretty yes. clever. I love that. So we've got the ideas right here. We've got all the ways to implement and create this spa effect, but how do we actually tap into it and fully capitalize on it? How do we sort of create mindfulness and how do we really get into that zen? Yes, the senses are now stimulated, but how do we ourselves ensure that we make this time count? So uh, technology is very good for us. Yeah. We've got a lot of options for music. We've got a lot of options for even guided meditations. I would say start off with calming music, something that creates a serene feel. And the guided meditation is really a good thing to do because that way you're creating a mindfulness, you're creating a calm space, you're creating a sense of, I would say, like a good well-being for the whole the whole space that you've created. Well, I'm, I'm here for this. <laughs> like, let's just say some of us, because not everybody's best to have a beautiful bathroom that they can capitalize on. A lot of us have shared spaces. A lot of us don't have these opportunities. If they don't have a bathroom, they can still reach out to you, right? Because I'm sure that you are still ticking the box when it comes yes, to stimulating all these senses. <laughs> Where can people find you and reach out to you? So we are uh, Splash Channel and Beauty. We are in Tiger Valley Center. Okay. And we do have a website as well. All of our contact details are on there. So if anybody needs any information, we are available for well, you. If you're on the north, uh, then you know you've got uh, yourself covered because Emerald is here. Thank you so much for coming through with these tips because this is what we need. And especially when it comes to our homes. And now that you have the tips and tricks for your DIY spa, it's time to 
to create the bathroom of your dreams, and that's with Twin Saver, as they give you a chance to win one of 10 bathroom makeovers worth 30 thousand rand each talk about turning your bathroom into a space of tranquility well this is how you do it you can visit twinsaver.co.za for more information and all i want to say to you is get involved in this good luck and relax musa <laughs>